This is the Calvin D Project, where we interview interesting people driven to change the trajectories of those they serve through learning, teaching, and writing. I want to thank you for being here. We're pleased to welcome Danielle Sunny Bryant out of Valland, New Jersey. Yes. Make sure you stick around because some of the most popular content is the advice portion is at the end. So right before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can get more episodes like this one. Miss Danielle Bryant, I appreciate you for joining the Calvin D Project podcast this week. Thank you for having me on, and I'm excited to be on with you all for this podcast this week. Thank Very you. excited. Thank you. Uh, Miss Bryant, tell me a little bit about yourself and your ministry. I am a church kid. I was born and raised in the church and in the ministry. My parents are ministers, pastors, leaders. Um, I am the daughter of an apostle, so we believe in the apostolic uh, ministry. I've worked in, I think, every capacity of ministry you can work in, from the, from being a junior usher to junior missionary. I think singing on every choir I could sing on, from the youth choir going up. And I am the praise and worship leader at my church. I work a lot with young people, and I work heavily in the music industry, which has been my passion for over 15 years. I've seen in some places, Danielle, Sonny Bryant. Now, what's mm-hmm. the story behind Sonny Bryant? <laughs> Um, the nickname Sunny was given to me when I was a teenager because I was one of the, I was always the type of person that went out of the way to make people laugh. So I was a comedian out of a bunch. So either I would do skits or I would do some type of comedy um, routine in front of people I performed, you know, at home for holidays. And so, and, and people always said because of the smile and, that, and that's just was something that was given to me. So I took it and ran with it and became a part of my music identity Sonny to to incorporate that into my music when I do performances or when I go to uh, promotional events I always try to get people that positive characteristic and that positive personality that I have when I share with my family while your tone has been described as powerful a powerful churchy tone um, your background includes gospel, jazz, classical. Um, mm-hmm. How would you describe your style musically as an artist? Well, classical, and I have to add some rock. I had a, a lot of rock and roll influence. Um, my eighth grade music teacher introduced me to the Beatles. Okay. And so I, a lot of that classic rock, and I became a fan of rock and roll. And I, I think I scared one radio person out when they asked me again about what music I like. And I said, well, I'm a metalhead. And it was like, yo, what? I said, a metalhead. I love heavy metal. Music for me, just doing all these different things, it was was a healthy outlet. And all these influences taught me different things, different uh, lyrics. And, you know, coming out of the church, a lot of the different styles of uh, singing, runs, and different things that we use to, I say, colorize our gospel music. A lot of that today wasn't taught back in the day. I found that through other genres of music. So it was, a, it was a blessing to me to expand and to learn how to do these things. A lot of the techniques, breathing and learning my scales, I learned that and was able to master that through opera and classical. So I'm grateful for that. I understand you were part of the K-Sound Praise Fest Music Awards in Augusta. Yes. And brought home the traditional female artist yes. award and a nominee in multiple categories with the Gospel Choice Music Awards and the Voices of Gospel Music Awards. Yes. How does it make you feel when people appreciate the work that you've put into your craft? Overwhelmed and I'm very much I'm humbled by it. I was uh, I received two Dove Award considerations for my last single Trust in the Lord. That added to the awards that I received and the nominations that I received really have blown my mind that that people listen to something that came from me. I really am I'm appreciative. I think with all of my supporters and to those who have submitted my music for nomination, it just thank you. I, I just I'm humbled. It's really hard to find the words because these are things that you dream about. You, you never would imagine being a child to see these things come into fruition. So, yeah. You had a performance. Uh, which of your songs do people come up to you and ask you, are you performing the most? Um, I always get, when I do um, 
and I do local events, they always ask me to do I Believe God. Or I'm asked to sing the Corinthian song. I sung that at my grandmother's funeral and everywhere I go now, though, are you going to sing the Corinthian song? Are you going to sing God's on side? What about I Believe God? And now with Trust in the Lord, my last single being out, some people have really enjoyed that. So we're introducing everyone now to the new single, Don't Give Up, letting them adapt to that. So I'm looking forward to people asking, are you going to sing Don't Give Up? Are you going to sing Trust in the Lord? Are you going to sing I Believe God? I- I'm looking forward to those songs being asked. Yeah, you know what's coming. <laughs> I, I believe it. I know. All right. So what comes to mind when you hear the words, God gave me my life back. Now it's my wow. turn to give back to someone else. What comes to mind? Well, I can tell you from a person that has been, I, and this is very sensitive. I've been at death's door before. I can tell you our lives are not our own. I'm, I'm taught in my church that we're servants. And so God gave life as a gift to all of us and it's not something that I'm entitled to I could have been gone years ago I battled with suicide as a teenager because I didn't feel like anyone loved me I didn't feel like anyone understood me I felt like an outcast I was bullied in school God allowed me to live through all those things and so when I discovered that there was a talent and a gift in me I wanted to share it with someone else and to let them know that their life is worth living, that they have something to live for. They have a dream that's worth pursuing. It's achievable. And so when I say, God gave me my life back, it's time to give to others. That's where I'm headed. I'm, I'm saving, I'm on a mission to help save lives and to help restore hope into the lives and the minds of others. For the ones that have been given that, that gift and they're aspiring to be a singer, what advice would you give or what would you say that is the best advice you've received? Just a word of encouragement to the listeners. I just want everyone to know to hang in there during the season. We, we are going through some difficult times uh, nationally, internationally, health-wise, financial-wise. Hang in there. Don't give up. A lot of things that are happening around us, they are going to happen. They're inevitable. But God is bringing all of us through it. So stand strong hang in there and keep pushing don't give up so if you're aspiring to be a singer practice um nothing is it, it, nothing comes to us overnight we have to practice even the best of the best the best singers that are out there across the genres they have to practice and they have to rehearse now if you're aspiring to being an artist there are a lot of steps that are, are it's an involved process number one you have to invest in yourself invest in good quality invest in good recording um, invest in great songwriters um, great musicians and invest your time be patient and allow this thing to grow don't rush the process the same thing for a singer don't rush the process um, allow yourself to, to grow into this talent grow and develop into it because it becomes more than a job it becomes a love and a passion and that's where it should always say I, I have fun and I enjoy singing whether it's background or if I'm doing my individual artist work if I'm doing praise and worship I have fun doing what I do yeah that's important now for my audience that's wanting to connect with you how do we find you I'm easy to find on all social media outlets. You can find me at Danielle Sunny Bryant. On Instagram, it's Danielle Sunny B because my name is so long. So Instagram and Twitter, you'll probably find Danielle Sunny B. Type that in and my picture will come up. Danielle Sunny Bryant on all other outlets. I do reply to email. So Danielle Sunny B. Bryant at gmail.com. Uh, if you're a Spotify listener, Danielle Sunny Bryant, no quotation marks. That's um, that's how you find me on Spotify and on Pandora. Apple listeners, you can find me on Apple Music and iTunes. We're on Bandcamp. We're on Google, Airplay, Amazon Music, CD Baby. We're everywhere. So you can find... And when I say we have to watch the Sunny Bryant Music Group, um, it's a team of us that work and they push me to the front. So you can find all of my pages and I believe I have a topic page on YouTube now Danielle Sonny Bryant so you can find um, a lot of my music and some of my videos on that link as well so I encourage everyone that's listening to connect with Sonny Danielle Sonny Bryant I want to thank you for being a guest on the Calvary Project podcast make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already 
and hit that bell notification icon so that you can get more episodes like this one. And thank you again for listening to The Calvin D Project.